This is a 1946 FL 74 cubic inch knucklehead. Now this bike has history. Everybody wants to have a chopper. Everybody wants to have the old school bike. This bike, we have photos, actual photos in the late 70s of this chassis. It had a shovel head. Now you have to understand in the 70s, a shovel head was a new machine. They were being made. So the best of the best you could get in the 70s was not a knucklehead, was not a panhead, it was a shovel head because you had the money to buy a brand new bike, which was about four grand at the end of the 70s, and chop it. So you spent about ten to twelve thousand dollars on this machine, and everybody else is buying and selling them at twenty five hundred dollars. So you were loaded. That was top of the line. And when choppers went out of style in '79, I mean it was like instant, like a light switch. It just people hated them. The owner took the shovel head motor out <clears throat> because it was worth a lot more money and put this knucklehead in. And let me give you an idea what a knucklehead was. In 1982, I bought my very first knucklehead motor. I paid $600 for it. I got laughed at, like out of the room laughed at because I overpaid. People were like, dude, we buy whole bikes from what you paid for a motor. I thought I was gonna die with that motor before I ever sold it for $800. I paid way too much. So, a not a style chassis, it was still a bike and a cheap, stupid ass motor at the time. Today, everybody's not quite happy, it's top of the line, but not in 1978. You have to understand the timeline here. So, <clears throat> we've got a matching number 46. It's a chopper, okay? So, it's got some flathead power parts on the top end. It's got an original tranny case. I still gotta flip it over take pictures of the matching belly numbers and date code on the training case. It's definitely a knucklehead. As of this particular video, I don't know the date code. This is a jammer frame, which was top of the line ch chopper frame at the time. If you wanted to spend the money, you bought a jammer frame. You did. You bought a jammer springer. You bought Hurst Earhart brakes. This is all top of the line stuff. You bought a Bates headlight. You follow? <clears throat> this would be a Paco or jammer tank. This center line here probably makes it jammer. It's probably like a whole kit they sold. I've seen the kits back in the day. It was right in their catalog. For the whole chassis you bought, oil tank and everything. So, <clears throat> got the original chopper seat. We, we have photos. I used to sell these tires in my shop, 110 bucks a pop, man. They were the top of the line. That was the best you can get. I started my shop in late 81. So, <clears throat> this bike here, everybody had these stickers everybody that totally dates this machine it's like a live to ride emblem on your gas caps from 1982 beautiful numbers beautiful cases got matching sevens beautiful paint job and it's still really nice you gotta remember this paint job dates from the late 70s it's still a nice shape so this i understand was a huge huge deal to go to at this time this is a, a cap sticker from 78 <clears throat> big big bike run of some sort Obviously I was not in Kentucky. I was in California. So the exact details, but the boys back east tell me like it was it was huge It was like oh my god So we're gonna fire this bike up and uh, Take it up and down the street. I have not I just got it today. I just got off the truck. I have not even washed it This is as found So they, they got it from me uh, Got it uh, running for me as part of the deal the boys I bought it from and we shipped it out So here it is I've had a running video, but I have not personally tried to start this machine. So we're going to do that right now, ideally, and uh, run it up and down the street for you. That is the plan. So, <clears throat> each one of these bikes start a little different. It started with a about half retard, a couple squirts, a little choke up, turn the key on, gas on. Let's key off for a second for the prime. Squirt key on, and hopefully we'll have fire.
it needs to have the Todd Clutch Special done. The transmission feels good. And the brakes, Hurst Earhart brakes, they suck when they're new and they really suck now. So I got almost no brakes. Oh my god. So it's like, yeah, here I go to the intersection. Luckily this one still works a little bit. So <clears throat> I would rebuild the brakes or replace them. That's my suggestion to you. Uh, this bike is for sale. It is a bitchin' old school, real deal chopper. This is not a recreation. We have photographic proof. So if you want the real from when this shit was happening, okay, when it was really happening, this is it. This is it. It don't get any better. This is it. Any better than this, you got a magazine bike. And what a magazine bike was? A bike that was not ridden on the road. They didn't ride them. A magazine bike was for the magazine. This is a bike that was actually ridden in the day. So if you want the real deal, here it is. Put up or shut up. It's for sale. Email me, huntingharleys at gmail.com. That's huntingharleys at gmail.com, huntingharleys at gmail.com. See you all on the next video. Bye-bye.